tired of seeing my friends die. I'm tired of seeing people I know have horrific and horrendous lives. You know, we don't talk about what it is. And again, I've lived it, I've witnessed it, and it's just not right. So uh, Steve Cruz, father, husband, December 21st, 2015, we buried him. Steve happened to be the 10th soldier, friend, brother that I've lost to suicide. This year, every mile that I've run is dedicated to Steve. So yeah, I will always make sure that people do not forget Steven Cruz, a soldier, a husband, a dad, somebody who did not deserve to die. this morning and I had told a couple of the guys who were lingering before at the hotel about my husband. By the time we left for Shepherd Center, he was shuffling, he was stuttering, he couldn't get out his words. We struggle every day with memory loss and today he's walking and talking and his goal next year is to run alongside of you guys the whole way. Please know that you're running for families like ours because now my little girl has their daddy to grow with and I have my husband to learn and grow with and support. So I'm your biggest cheerleader. I will be your biggest fan because you're running for families like mine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Every day, individually, you're gonna run minimum of 22K. So that's 13.7 miles. Uh, every day, we wanna keep with the 22K while wearing the 22 pound vest. So really want that message of uh, 22 veteran suicide today to resonate. reception here at Monument Terrace. Uh, so this is exactly why you're doing it. So the guy who on crutches just went up, you know, three flights of stairs, and he's able to do that because of this program. So phenomenal feeling for that. Yes, yeah, I was looking for help um, with with my anger, my my anxiety, my need to go, go, go. That rush. So share really. I'm telling you, it it, it, it took me from from. Corporal Coley back to Isaac Coley, you know me, who I was, so yeah. We have to change the culture in the military to, when you do have a problem, that I can go to, I can go to Jason or I can go to Jared and say, hey man, I'm dealing with a lot of things, I'm struggling here, you know. So many people talk about suicide and they think, what a selfish decision. Well, to the one committing it, he actually thinks, or she thinks, that she's helping their family out. You know, if once those blinders get on and you think someone else is better without you, it's hard to get out of that rut.
I ran with the team last year. Uh, that was my first year. This year, I'm running with the team again, but um, his, his name is Steven Cruz. This is a note that his daughter woke up and read. This is not fair for a child to have to go through. I'm gonna keep talking about Steve so his, so his widow and his kids know that he mattered because he did and he still does. But we're gonna keep running until it is zero. And we're gonna need your support. true heroes today are the clients who make the decision to willingly go in this program because they know that without this program there may not be any other way hope is lost so anyone who, who feels comfortable I would ask that any share client past or present please come stand in front of this podium in solidarity with our team if you would do our team that honor it would mean the world that the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. So I challenge each person here today to be vigilant in the fight, to engage and to make a difference. I guess I'm known among our team as being long-winded, so today is gonna to be short. Don't celebrate us, don't honor us. These men and women in front of me and our team, they're the true heroes, they're the heroes of Share. Honor them, celebrate them. Woo. Woo. Woo.